intention. All the way out, double under, throw those legs up. Shimmying in, shimmying in. Ride the momentum. Shoulder shimmy. Take your head to the left. Put your left arm and stand up. Finish the game, disengage, head to the shoulder. Fall, chest to the floor, chest to the floor. Watch your arm. Use your left hand to push. Junior to the head table, Jane to the head table.
Medic Matt 2, Medic Matt 2. The young and talented Helena Kravar who's taken the Jiu-Jitsu world by storm. See if she can replicate that success here in the finals. Mo Black, no easy, no easy run to get to here, going through Layla Watkins, and Stephanie Klein, and Caitlin Huggins. Had a world champ right out the gate in this bracket for Mo. Helena coming through Vickers, Wright, and Luna. And then Nicole Matthew to get herself here in the rematch. And if you remember, it was a it was a very, very close match at East Coast. And you had that tactical error where Helena had stood and then sat after the three seconds and got herself the negative and then sat again in overtime. Uh, which is what ended up putting her down by the negative point. Captain America. Coming to the ring right now, Helena Kravar of New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. Looking to get some revenge here on the main stage in the center of all eight mats. And live on flow grappling at the ADCC West Coast Trials. Immediately goes to shake referee Miguel Benitez's hand. All black for Mo Black. Helena and the Stars and Stripes. Running it back here in Vegas. All right. Again, Gravar can't pull, so she'll have to wrestle here. Obviously known for her guard work, but she's a tremendous leg locker. Dangerous upper body submissions from the bottom. Dangerous lower body submissions from the bottom. Grip and move, grip and move. Something we see a lot about out of the new wave competitors is a heavily heavy emphasis on the collar tie. Yeah, very smart, intelligent hand fighting. Black two on one. And 
immediately switching to the other side. Kravar with a overhook, trying to step in for a little off balance. She'll keep on the collar. Black will stay on the two on one. Oh, nice. Nice attempt there from Mo Black. Mercy grips here from Mo Black. Helena will get a high collar tie. See her keep slipping from that collar tie. Oh, look, oh, look at this. this. Guillotine. Now just did, and dragging her down. What a smart move. Again, let's understand, too, that if you even jump for a submission, that's still considered a guard pull. But if Helena were to get this front head, drag her down to where they're both on their knees, you can neutral that position out and then take bottom safely. Could be the plan. I don't know. <laughs> I would imagine she would want to go yeah. to where the match suits her best, which statistically would be her guard. Yeah. Mo Black in their last matchup did have a lot of success, actually, wading through the different guard attacks of Helena Kravar, even giving a good a couple good pass attempts of her own in that match. I think something I'm noticing, too, with Mo Black is her, her keeping winning inside position when she's trying to grip. When she doesn't have that two-on-one, notice how she's trying to keep her thumbs inside almost in the elbows and things like that so she's not ending up on the outside of an overtie looking for a quick duck under <coughs> heavy on this two on one she'll regrip that overtie here from Kravar looks like Helena is positioning her hips to look for that Uchimata yeah, right? Every time she's, when she has that overhook, it looks like she's trying to step in front. Now two on one here for Kravar. Switches it to a collar. And there's that overhook again. And, and, and you see Black matching the circle. You know what I mean? Like as Helena circles towards her, Black is circling the same direction so that she's not closing that distance and able to step in front. Now two on one from Mo Black. Two on one again into that Russian. Hanging heavy on that arm. Yeah, able to free it. Got an underhook now. Moving around to get head position. 30 seconds still points. 30 seconds. That man, I, man, it has me wondering if a look at this yeah, like we talked about that Uchimata in. attempt and black circling away from it very important to keep the hips square yeah. in defense of that kind of attack able to get that leg inside here and this I, is what Helena wants in on a leg correct and not Good only response. in on a leg but with five seconds to go till point she's got herself to the bottom position safely where she doesn't have to worry about being scored on great strategy and yeah. Helena Kravar to adopt the bottom position there. But took, you know, three minutes and 50 seconds to work uh, Mo. You know what I mean? To work Black, to, to circle with her, to make her hand fight, to give her some, to give her a little bit of a, you know, look back and not just be at bottom position. In the corner of Helena Kravar, as you can oh, see, that. legendary oh, John Danner. Just score on that. As Helena Kravar gets top position here. That's going to give her two points. Yeah, sweet points for Kravar. Still controlling that front head. And I think one thing you'll never see Helena do, turns that angle on that foot. We'll see that her probably her other foot kick that top knee to free her heel. Um, is she trying to lace through on a dars? I can't see if that left arm is under. Definitely looks a like heavy cross is. face with that right arm. Yeah. That left arm sneaking through. Is that what it's doing? Nah, you know what? Mo did a very good job of blocking that hand from getting past her, her shoulders towards her neck. Almost with that foot is. free is Helena Kravar. Goes to kick that top knee to free the heel. 
You can see she doesn't want to commit to really falling towards the hip because, listen, Black's still in a position where she can dogfight up to her knees and come across, right? So uh, Helena is uh, really pushing to get that leg out. And she gets it free. Black turns the turtle, just like we talked about. First hook is in, staying off on her side here. Let's see. You know, Black obviously going to try to capture above the knee. And Helena, as she maintains this control, Look how tight. she is burning yes. time off of the clock yeah. with this two-point lead. It's going to take a big – it's really going to take a risk yeah. by Mo Black to get out of this position at this point. And doing a very good job of covering Black, right? I mean, when she was in this leg ride position, she's covering the knees, she's covering the hips, she's covering the upper body. Like, very difficult for Black to build height to be able to do anything. Such a smart competitor at 17, you know what I mean? And there you see her step back again and move back to the leg ride. Rather than stay left leg past the hip, she pulls that leg back and moves to more of a leg ride. This might allow her to be able to get the guillotines from here. Kravar is going to get her first warning on top. And again, it's passivity. She's in the lead, so she's going to be the one that they're pushing f to do more action, right? They're never going to let you try to coast here. The ADC judges wait about eight seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eight seconds of inactivity, and you if better start lucky. moving. No, it's good. It's, it pushes yeah. the sport to new levels of excitement. And Kravar again, she stepped the leg back to move to a leg ride rather than stay with that left leg piss. Second warning now. And look at this. Mo Black trying, trying to go under, under for the deep half and power up on a That's why she had attempt. to stay tight. That's why she had to stay tight. Now you got Black on the wrestle up and smart move by Black. Now Black's going to be up on the feet. Helena trying to pull her back down again. If she can get her to her knees, that she can neutral out this position. Black knows that too. She knows that she can't. She knows she's got to figure out a way to circle herself out of this, this lock so that she can go after. 10 seconds. Helena Cravar just continually trying to snap her down to the ground. Puts her down. Oh, look at this. She might four-pointer here. And that is going to do it. Helena Cravar is, is going to the T-Mobile Arena for ADCC Worlds. Wow. The youngest ADCC Trials champion of all time, Helena Cravar of New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. What a great story. Helena is such a great kid, too. Like, just a polite kid. Every time you see her, she's just a joy to be around. To see her do what we all knew she could do, right? Come in, win a Trials, and get herself into the big show. What a huge accomplishment. Mo Jasm's having a conversation on the side with Mo Black right now, getting up from his spot at the judges' table. Got to wonder what kind of conversation is going on there, but we're going to look at this replay. Jay, talk us through it. All right. Again, Cravar with that overhook. Here's what got her safely to the ground. Went for that went for that Uchimata and got herself safely to the ground. This is where Mo Black went for that submission. Uh, it was as Helena was coming up and Helena able to score the two here. And then this is the running out the clock. It puts her down with a guillotine with five seconds left. Almost four points are here. Beautiful work from the 17-year-old new wave prodigy. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up on Flow Grappling, who's number 123? 